Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have Raynaud's, but I don't have it with the uh, SLE or the scleroderma. Uh, I have it with Sjogren's disease. Mine is a little different. Uh, I would say that mine is more secondary. I do not have digital ulceration, but boy, have I got cold hands and feet, and I have always had for as long as I can remember. I thought everybody in the world had frozen hands and feet. Uh, it wasn't until um, I had bought my first house and fell in love with gardening that I realized that something was further wrong with my hands. Something was getting a little more complicated. And it turned out for me, and I don't know, uh, Dr. Dunn, whether you've come across this, but definitely the cold temperatures do that to me, but also vibration, mm -hmm. power tools. There I was doing my best Edward Scissorhands out in the yard with my hedge trimmer and suddenly my hands were gone and I, I, I nicked my fingers with the hedge trimmer because I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't get it away from my hands and get it off in time. So I went to the doctor and I said, there's something more complicated than just these damn cold hands of mine. What, what could be wrong? She says, I don't know, quit using those tools. <laughs> so, but something as simple as even a really overactive electric toothbrush can send me <laughs> off into orbit. Um, now, we do in, uh, dress in layers, we certainly do, but one of the things I'd like to uh, pass along to anybody with Renaud's that's listening, I can't sleep. I cannot sleep if my hands and feet are frozen. I just can't. So what I do is, you know, you can take a tip from the Europeans, you can put hot water bottles in your bed, you can use a, um, you know, a heating pad. No, not me, I've got to go all out. I've got to have the whole mattress warmer. I turn it on about half an hour before I go to bed, jump in, and I'm off to lullaby land in no time. But Otherwise, there will be no sleep. And sleep is hard enough with Sjogren's disease. Um, also, when you're traveling, uh, and especially this time of year, uh, when you are traveling, please take note of this, because I have been both in motor vehicle accidents in the mountains, and I'm tr frequently in the mountains, um, and I've also had broken down vehicles. I won't say whose fault the maintenance was on that, but, you know. <laughs> so uh, we do dress in layers. And I, up until last year, was ignorant about keeping my head covered more so. Uh, and no matter what I would put on in the way of three pair of gloves, scarves and whatnot, I wasn't covering my head. I do this now. But um, so we have the scarves, we have the gloves, we have waterproof boots I find are imperative when you go. This little baby, what is she doing with this? Well, it's freezer time, folks. We're going to go to the freezer with Marilyn. If I can't con somebody into going to the freezer for me, I have to take my, my secret uh, army. I have, I don't prefer these silicone oven mitts. I prefer the old cotton ones with the silver on them. And those sit neatly stacked beside my freezer, but those, mine were so battered, I, I was embarrassed to bring them today. So if I'm going into the freezer to find my Friday night frozen Mars bar, <laughs> and of course I can't send somebody down for that, so I have to do it. I don myself with my gay apparel, fa la 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 la, and I go down with my mittens, and I go down with my tongs, and the hunt is on. I'm ready, I'm ready to tackle the freezer. I don't do the toque, but I've got a jacket on because my freezer is in the garage, and I have all this apparatus on, and then I go rooting around, so I'm ready to do battle with my tongs and my mitts. But, as I say, send, some, send another sacrificial lamb down to the freezer as often you can, and get them to keep the freezer well organized so you can find things without spending a lot of time there. But when you do travel, when you do travel, please, especially in the winter months, take not only those little packages of Hot Pockets or whatever they're called, those little things, keep those in your glove box. Keep at least several pair of mittens and gloves and keep a pair, if you can, that are waterproof. So if you have to get out of the car for flat tires or something, that's going to help. Please take along um, uh, extra socks. In case your car is broken down, you've been in an accident, you're going to need extra socks to keep warm. Blankets. There, you will always find a blanket in my car every day of the year. You will find gloves in my glove box every day of the year. If you're traveling this time of the year, take a sleeping bag. If you're going to be stuck somewhere, stay warm. You're going to really, really need it. Um, also, uh, speaking of vibrating instruments, some people use vibrators. No, no, uh, don't go there. Don't go there. I am talking about the ones for your feet the ones you use on your shoulders, those, those knock my circulation out. They're gone. So um, how am I doing for time? Uh, 30 seconds. 
Okay, all right, I just want, speaking of, Linda was talking about good ideas for Christmas. I think a Fitbit is a fantastic idea for Christmas, but also let's not give these to Renaud folks for Christmases. Don't give me any, any uh, gift certificates for trekking and tuk 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 I won't go and I won't use it. Um, scuba, okay, give me scuba lessons, but please, in the Caribbean only, don't send me out into these coastal waters. I won't thank you. And finally, absolutely no gift certificates, even in the summer, because air conditioners could be involved and air conditioners knock my hands and feet out. No gift certificates to nudist colonies, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs>